fellow that writes in the films. Yes. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right. How's your father? He's keeping very well, I'm glad to say. Uh, he's made a good recovery. Yes, he has, hasn't he? Uh, with his sin and all the power and all the love that we can, as a matter of fact, as we look out of three friends, he have been around very much, and the wife too. Mm-hmm. Can you not hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. Hey, uh, you've got quite a good job. What's your name? Oh, you wouldn't have known me. My name is Robert. Hey, mm-hmm. uh, there's I'm no connection with you. Oh, I see. I've just a soul that takes an interest in people, and I remember you coming here way back when you spoke to that few matter bloke. That's right. Hey, uh, you know? he's quite a nice fellow when you get used to him. <laughs> <laughs> We're meaning and kind. Oh, well, sure, you what these Latin people are like. <laughs> he doesn't have changed all that much, I wouldn't have say in a way. But he's a fine fellow in spite of everything. Uh-huh. Aye, but over here we learn a great deal about each other. We soon sort of say, mm-hmm. you know, on your side, I remember Dunkers years ago when I was on your side, I was not exactly a religious type, but my mother was quite religious and she used to ram it down my throat when I was a kid, you know. Mm. She used to see about the great judgment day and all that sort of rubbish, you know. Mm. I, I did not take it too seriously. But I realise now that over here it's not that anyone judges you. You judge yourself, you know. You have to come and face up to yourself and all that. No one sort of passes judgment on you, thank God. Can you know hear me? Yes, yes. Very, very well. So you to do with the fact that you have you seen my mother? Uh, we lassie. Nice soul. Hope one day she'll be able to get through them and what we eat. Mm, but you so. know, wouldn't that go against the faith? Wouldn't it go against the faith? Aye, the church. Whose faith? Well, faith. Faith, yes. Aye, you know the church doesn't believe in all this sort of thing. At least if they believe that I don't encourage it. Which church? But my, I remember when I was in New side of life, my mother would have been horrified about spirits and communication. The only spirit she had any time for was ever Paul. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I knew that. I knew, knew, knew all, the, all the Irish are Catholic. I said, knew all the Irish are Catholic. Well, you're not right there. What's that, you see? I say you're not right there. I said not all the Irish oh, are Catholic. Oh, not all the Irish. Yes, you're right there. I know all the Irish are Catholic. Mm. No. <laughs> right. I don't think my mother would have any objection to speaking to me. No, I do see that she'd have any objection. Mm-hmm. I know that a greater number of souls see they have to eradicate, as you call it, some of the old ideas, you know. Oh, yes. It doesn't come easy with some. No, I suppose not. By the way, do you know who Ethel is? Yes. Because your mother's talking about Ethel. Well, she's talking about herself. She's laughing all over her face as she talks, and she says, you tell the laddie. She says, you tell the boy, she says, that Ethel's here, and she sends a love and a blessing to you and your father. Well, that's very nice indeed. I send her my love back, and I'm sure my father does too. By the way, may I ask you a personal question, and you know I'd answer if you don't want to, but um, would you know anything about... The person who had to have a leg off. I took a leg off? Aye. Would you know the gentleman that would be here that died some years back and had an operation, at least I presume that's what happened, at least he'd only got the one leg. No. But to do with your parents somewhere along the line, because there's a man here with your mother now, and uh, he's laughing and he says, I got two jolly good legs now, <laughs> and, and I had a real right time about getting around on one leg and a crutch. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a long time back. It's a long, long time uh, back. I don't think I would remember. Way, by the way, your, your father, he's got a book, and it must be a pretty old book, I gather, because it's a family book, I should imagine, uh, that's been quite a number of years. It's got a lot of names in the flyleaf. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about this? I think I probably do, yes. Mm-hmm. All right, you're one of those difficult customers. No, well, I can't recall. I, 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 can't, I can't recall. No, it's all right. You don't want to take me too seriously. Wouldn't I pull your leg a wee bit? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm trying to keep you cheerful because people get all tensed up and they get yes. all up and they don't can think clear. Just a minute now, I'll get more about this ethical business and what she has to see, but she's very concerned 
and she often arranged you, and she's very much arranged your father. And would you know anything about his sister? Of your mother's, I mean, not you. About his sister? Aye, she's talking about his sister. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's very much around her sister. Do you hear what I see? Yes, I hear what you say, yes. But, uh... Wait a moment. Don't tell me, let me just say yes or no. Then you can go away say I never fed them with any information. <laughs> <laughs> Mother's talking about your sister, and she said she's often around here with her sister, and they both go to see your father. Mm-hmm. You follow that? I do indeed, yes. I and when that. you were a wee lad, mm-hmm. was you know very close to Auntie? Yes. And did you know sometimes Steve? Sometimes what? Stay with you. Stay with you. Yes. Because I think your Auntie must have been very fond of you when you were a wee laddie. Mm-hmm. And there's no doubt about it, your mother and she thought the word of you. And there's no doubt about it, you were spooked. <laughs> yes. And there's a photograph, too, of one. you with a dog taken in a garden mm-hmm. at the back of a house, I suppose, or something like that, because there's, there's, there's a garden there, and there's a you as a lad, and there's a dog there, too. Mm-hmm. You have the photo. Yes. Or at least your father has it if you have not got it. Yes. And also, uh, and also too, um, do you know anything about the bungalow? Mm, yes. At one short period of time, were you, as not, when you were much younger, were you no living or staying for a time in a bungalow? I suppose we were at one time, yes. We, we never lived in it, but no. we very well stayed in it. Aye, but you used to go there. There's yes. no doubt about this. There was a relation of yours that lived in a bungalow when you were a wee laddie, and you occasionally went there with your people. Mm-hmm. That's right. And your father at the present moment, he has a... I don't want to worry you about this, because I'm sure that all will be well, but there is a slight heart condition, mm-hmm. and he's receiving help and treatment from this side, and there's no doubt he's going to make a good recovery, he has made a good recovery, but you know, um, I don't know how to say this, but he lives in a kind of way of his own with his memories. Mm-hmm. Yes. And uh, at the same time, do you know anything about the duck? The what? The duck. 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 Yes. The significance of the duck. Do you see key? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. There's a significance, a special significance about do you see key duck. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and the, yes. the mother's telling me to say this. Don't ask me why. Mm-hmm. I'm only repeating what I'm told to tell you. Yeah. Because sometimes some people kind of get through themselves. And I'm more used to this sort of thing about communicating. And I've been coming quite a few years, one way and another, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, you interest me because although you don't think this is feasible or possible, oh, and you may think there's a possibility in a kind of odd way, but you're going to be approached, according to what I'm told to tell you, in the very near future, to undertake something which you think to yourself at the time, well, you th- shall I or shan't I do it? Mm-hmm. And you'll say to yourself, it's not quite my line exactly, but you'd be a fool to turn it down because it offers a great opportunity in a way which will surprise you, and you should go ahead with it. And you may wonder how this will happen, but it will happen in a way which won't be exactly here, but across the sea. Really? Ah, oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for letting me know that. At the moment, if you've got someone staying with you, no. well, assuming your mother's here, she's definitely telling me about some person that she's seen in your place where you live. Well, maybe a visitor, but now no one's staying with me. Aye, uh, all right. How about you me? You know your own business, that's right yeah. enough. <laughs> but your mother's definitely talking about some particular person, and it's not a female, it's a man. And uh, she's been very interested in this person, and she says that she likes him very much. I don't know if this is someone that you recently become acquainted with, but this person she seems to like very much indeed as a human being. I wonder who that is. But if you can, you tell me any, can you tell me anything? I don't know, but um, evidently he's doing some special work at the moment, and I think you've been discussing certain things with this person, and you've had him around what, several times, if not staying in your place. No, that's not right. You see, it's not right. Hmm? No. But why is she telling me this if it's no soon? <laughs> well, he may have... You're probably visiting me, but not staying with me. Uh, all right, perhaps there's no living there, but mm-hmm. you, you've had this, and you've been 
having a meal and you've been talking and discussing certain aspects of certain things to do with some special project. Yeah. You're full of that bit. I do. Yeah. Well, this is who she's on the bank. Mm hmm As who does about that. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's interesting. And, and she seems to think it's a good idea. And whoever this individual is, she's interested because you're interested in this person and the things this person is doing. And this person's on some project, I know it's a new project. And she says that it, it's got great possibilities and you should push ahead with it. Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a moment. Uh, you interest me. You know, you know being a Scotland, huh? Yes, I have. You like it? Very much. Because uh, I get a strong Scottish link here, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a Scottish connection. Yes. It's an odd, strange thing here because it seems to me that some member of members of your family uh, partially in the Scottish line. Yes, that's right. Uh, but it's an odd arrangement, but it goes back a, a while. And it's a sort of split in the family, not exactly a split, but it's an aspect of part of the family, part Scottish. Mm-hmm. You follow that? Yes. Uh, your mother is a very talkative lady, and she's very sweet. <laughs> and there's no doubt she worshipped you. You were the apple of her eye. Mm-hmm. That's right. Why is she laughing about the speaks? About what? Speaks. Glasses. What you put on your Spec- eyes. Spectacles. I don't know. Well, she says that um, she saw you the other day and she says, um, we you have it? Yes. Well, you don't like the idea of what? Oh, I do. Oh, yes. you might. Well, that's yes. all right then. But she no. says she noticed the other day <laughs> you were squinting and you're looking as if you're trying to read <laughs> something. And she says something about the speaks. Yes. Also, she's also telling me, I know you think this is perhaps it's an odd statement to me, but I think your father can prove the reality of these. Because she says, what about the little knock of he that's in the little envelope? Mm-hmm. Do you know about the little knock of he in an yes. envelope that your father has? Yes. Aye. And she says he keeps it, and it means a great deal. It's a little thing and treasure from the past. Mm-hmm. And also, do you remember a certain funeral and it rained, it was a shocking day. Yes. And she was there. She was there? How does that surprise you? Where was it her own funeral? She's telling me that she was there and it was a bad day and she felt sorry for everyone because the rain was coming down and it was a depressing day in more ways than one. Mm-hmm. And she's also telling me about an anniversary that comes very shortly in a matter of a week or two. As a matter of fact, it's in September. And also, somewhere around about, I don't know why she talks about this, but I have to mention every word she says, otherwise she'll be very cross with me. <laughs> she's quite a character here, this lady. And she's talking about the 21st. The 21st? She's showing me two and a one, 21. Uh-huh. There must be some reason or significance like that. And I know you think this sounds mad too, but I cannot help it if you do. She says uh, that there is a link, and a family link, across the seas and there's a relation there that very seldom ever contacts a family and that there will be some link made and some contact but do you know heard anything about these people for many years really that's interesting do you not know anything about a member of the family an uncle we back who went across the seas to australia nope uh, maybe your father might know i don't doubt it what is that you see? I would doubt it. I don't think my father had any brothers. No, I'm not, talking, I'm not talking about that. No, no, you're getting it wrong. Mm-hmm. No, no, this could be on your mother's side, and I think it would be perhaps not necessarily an uncle, but a great uncle. And there was that a link mm-hmm. that went across the sea many years ago before you were born. 